Okay, well, we're back working on the little brigs. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty clean in there, actually. That's pretty surprising. Doesn't look like the connecting rod has ever been off since it was brand new off of the uh, production line. A little bit of side-to-side -side play, but uh, no big end play, no little end play, no bearing play. She's a pretty good engine. The only thing we haven't checked is the condition of the piston, which I should imagine is probably all right. But uh, yeah, I was right, there is some horrible sludge in the uh, crankcase here to deal with. And uh, then we'll just slap it back together with this original monkey gasket that's on here for now. And uh, then once we go ahead, oh, see, there is some pretty, pretty horrible, horrible, horrible um, oil going on in here. Yes, we should give this all a proper clean out when she's all stripped down. But we're going to scrape the crud off of the sump here, put it back on, and uh, continue working on it, trying to do something with this pull starter, hopefully. Uh, not really sure what, I don't think we're going to get it off of there. So uh, we're just going to have to see if some heat will free it off. Hmm. We shall see. Okay, well, we've uh, finished doing our work underneath the flywheel now. We fitted a new bit of copper core HT lead, not soldering it on or anything and uh, just putting it on there loosely for now because we're going to be taking the whole engine apart after we've um, successfully attempted a run. So uh, yeah, we've had to make a new flywheel key. This is the uh, original. It's really chewed up really badly. I mean, can't really see it. The camera isn't too great on close up on video but I have got a picture of it and uh, here's the brand new one that we've made out of a, um, a Woodruff key that was um, the one of the half moon types that I cut uh, I've still got plenty of those so I've knocked that up and uh, that does seem to work and uh, yeah hopefully it holds but if it breaks we'll order one uh, I think this is a modern Briggs and Stratton flywheel key by the looks of it and it's just been too loose from the start so it looks like if I'm going to order a proper key it'll probably have to come from America that's the problem when you're dealing with these um, old American engines. Lots of the parts have to come from the States. And uh, that can take a long time to come. And it can also be pretty blooming pricey. <laughs> anyway, let's carry on working on this now. Going to get the flywheel on. And uh, I have tested the spark. We've got a nice spark. So uh, we're not going to do anything to the condenser as of yet. But I will replace that when we've uh, stripped the engine down and before we go for really long runs. So yeah, the sump is clean. Uh, the gasket's probably gonna leak in there, but as I said, we're only going for about a five minute run, just to see if she runs, really is all we're doing. And uh, then we'll go from there. Okay, well, it's taken a absolutely unforeseeable amount of hours, amount of heating it up, bashing it, a lot to um, get this starter dog freed up and it is still pretty rancid in there if I'm brutally honest but I can't get the pulley off the back of the crankshaft so um, surprisingly enough I've managed to actually free this starter gear here which was completely seized and it is now turning yeah it's only got a it's only got to do the job of starting the engine and then staying still for about a second whilst the kickstart comes back up and then it can spin freely so it's not going to be um, turning all the time so it's going to be turning like that the whole time the engine's running but uh, when the starter is obviously when the teeth on the starter mesh with that and the engine's still running that stops turning so it doesn't destroy the starter basically which is in a sorry state as it is, so uh, yeah, we've got some work to do on that. I was hoping to um, get it running by the end of the day, but I didn't realise the start clutch was going to be that hard to free off. I didn't think it would be that bad, but it was pretty pretty grim. So yeah, we're going to um, probably submerge that completely in oil. Then we've got to try and straighten out this plate here, which keeps the ball bearings in oh, place. The is all cleaned up come up pretty nicely 
not a lot to it obviously just got a um, throttle slide going across the front and a choke here and uh, that's just a fuel mixing needle there yeah pretty simple stuff so we've cleaned it up put it back together yeah it's not looking too bad should should run the engine just fine okay, we're ready to see if this little old Briggs will fire up for the first time we've got some old engine oil in there oh she's sucking up fuel oh that's not bad at all she's sucked up fuel straight away she might even start up I am expecting the kickstart to snap in half quite frankly <laughs> uh, I'm not sure I'm expecting the rest of the engine to do that so we shall see Fires then. Oh, here we go. We might be getting somewhere. unmistakably the sound of an engine trying to fart its way into life. Okay, let's try again. Might be getting somewhere now. as soon as you add the camera.